on Kazakh, because I'll probably do blue, gump into red. I might do that this game. I'll show you guys how I want to be aggressive early game. This, let's say if I do like blue, gromp, wolves, then red. Potentially my balling could die before that, so I don't want to take that chance. So let's say I really want to be bot fast. I just want to be as aggressive as possible, so I'm just going to do a fast play. So here we do the most, our fastest clear bot. I like to save my smite for Gromp, but I don't know on Kha'Zix if it's that rewarding. What the hell? Here I always like look at lanes too. Whenever you're jungling, it's kind of like PvE. You don't really have to overly pay attention to like what else is going on in the map. And you can kind of, or like you don't have to watch yourself jungle. Like I know it's fun and stuff. Wait, why did I go that way? But in general, you should just always be like looking forward into the next spot that you're going to be heading to. Like I'm going to be paddling bot side, so I just want to know exactly like what the bot situation I'm going to be walking into is. In this game, it might have been better to do wolves, but I just want to show you guys being really aggressive early game. I might even be able to look mid too. Here it looks like the bot lane is looking to go in, so we're gonna be able to get a gank off. This is like the advantage of doing the fast clear instead of going for like the wolves. If I did the wolf, I wouldn't have made it here in time. And if there was no gank, I mean, usually there's always a gank, but just being like a faster player, being the first one there, gave me a lot of advantages. This Heimer had to die on me though. I want to save my flash. And here I have a really good buy, so I necessarily don't need to. I can I can just base and be aggressive. Has not got crab yet? Maybe we can counter. So here we like read, kind of rinse and repeat what we're doing. Kazix, I think blue is really good, so we go blue. Usually your top side will respawn by this point. I should walk that way though. I think he just got crab. In hindsight, I might have had to go bot crab first. He's a situation where we might be able to gank top. If he doesn't get that wave in. So here we can maybe gank top. This is a, one of those situations where it's good. Wow, he flashed. Because his wave is now kind of frozen, so he's in a very dangerous position. A position he doesn't really want to be in. Now his game is like ruined because he can't farm. He can't play aggressive, so he's in a really bad spot. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get much damage off. Ooh, brave. Surprised this pike is still roaming. I'm just gonna stop your base, okay. 
No, I feel like you should always have good farm. As long I mean, it's okay to... Yeah, if you're getting good kills, it's good. Yeah, you better walk all the way home, Heimer. Skarner. Not on my worst day. I mean, I just find the blue one is the best one. Honestly, I don't even know like what's the best Kha'Zix builds. I just think Hydra is good. I just find myself going Hydra a lot on Kha'Zix. I think it's a good item. My farm's pretty shit though. I I, I kind of played too like high or low mentality. Like, I could easily have just done crab and raptors there before I base. And then Lori low is like fine. You just greed a bit for your camps. But that like fast level three gank, I think. I think the jungler that can be fast on your gank and then go farm after is always better. Always, always, I, level 3 ganks are really good. Red Perk Zapper is, is really good. Very, very good for winning the game. This guy's no flash, right? We know this, so we can probably kill him as he greets here. Oh, you're dead now. Pot up. I'm gonna ball blank you and play for Harold. They do dragon, but we can do Harold. That like little investment, that like one level three gank, like I just completely ruined this guy's. Like, see how little time I invest in top, but the time I put into top, it gets me like really good value. It gets me, it hurts the Jace so much, and I don't really, I'm not like investing so much. Like, I, don't, I don't plan on doing much else in top lane, but whenever I have an opportunity, whenever it looks good to go top, I like make it. Make it work. Here we have our items, so we can base. Going for a mid gank, maybe it's possible. I feel like there's three people here, yeah. Alright, now we're gonna base get Hydrant farm up. I love Q Evolve. I like Q Ball with Ravnus into Eclipse. And you know, always ping the map. Like, I'm always aware of the map situation. Like, I, that's why I think people should make your mini map a bit bigger. I feel like people have such small mini maps and they never, they're never even looking at their mini map. There's just so much important information that goes on, and but it's all located on your mini map, and you're just missing out on so much free important information. Here we're just gonna look to play aggressive. I think Oriana might roam here, and if she does roam, we can counter and fight it. So we just wait for it. Bot's winning, so we just continue winning bot. Use our timing, set up traps and stuff. Kha'Zix, you really, you want to play around bot rushes. Pike might come. I think Pike will face check me here. But I have Baron Recall. He might go down mid, most likely. I'm playing for crabs. I'm going to get crab and then fight. Mm -mm -mm. Same people from last game. Yeah, usually now I'm starting to run into the same people. They might all come from me. Oh, 
Oh, dude, I should have invis right away. I was greedy. I was very greedy there. I'm not strong enough to fight like that. I'm worth five and one mana. So bad. I, I could have ulted right away. I took too much damage. I thought I would be a lot better. I'm gonna drop Harold mid. I'm gonna just keep playing around my ball lane. It's like ball lane's winning. Team's doing pretty well. I'm gonna drop my Herald here. Oh, bye bye, Hydra. I don't know. Hydra just feels good because you can just farm pretty much power farm on her or him. But yeah, you just have to be careful about taking aggressive plays early game. In my opinion, I think Kha'Zix doesn't really come online until really level 11. Two items level 11. That's when you're going to really be strong on this champion. Two items level 11 is when you're strong. Usually the early phase, you're just... You're trying to get that kill, get farmed up. Kind of snowball a bit off it. Get rich. And you're mostly playing for the two item level 11 spike. That's when you're really strong. You, you don't want to like throw your game early before that. So like me dying there. I took a bad fight. I took an unnecessary fight. It was just completely pointless. Here we want to play for a dragon. I don't want to give them another dragon. Let's clear out the wards now. I'm going to push out this wave too. Just put some more pressure on them. Like they should have killed that tower there. Oh, but it's okay. We got dragon here. We can always fight them if they go really crazy. Well, well, well. Orion's on the right side. We have to watch out. Well, well, well. Back at it again. Yeah, your invisibility is really good, but definitely play for that 11 power spike. Isolating Q Isolation is really important, too. You have to really balance, like, farm and ganking. Gank when it's good for you, and farm when you, you have nothing to do. If you learn to balance these two things, you're going to be an incredible jungler. Very important, though. So here, when you have Eclipse, Eclipse or D Prowler's Claw, it's up to you. I like Eclipse. And then you just play kind of conservative. Yeah, Morning Cues. You really don't die though. If you die, you just lose your Hydra stacks, which is kind of sad. But it's kind of hard for you to die if you just play smart. So you really should not be dying. Here I'm just gonna farm, play for Herald, play for objectives. Might look for Crab. I'm getting really close to my power spike, level 11. And the game is like 10 times easier. And the game's already pretty easy, but... 11, baby. It's cause that... Your W evolution is really important for team fighting. Without your W evolution, you're not a good team fighter. But when you have your W evolution, you become a god team fighter. So it becomes way, way easier to team fight. And their team comp has a lot of CC, but a lot of auto attack. So I find myself going... This game, I find myself going tabbies. Though I might have needed Merchaz. They don't really have CC. I don't know. I think for this one, we just have to get level 11 fast and look to fight after. And when we fight with level 11, we're going to be really strong. 
All right, let's see. I'm about to. I'm, I'm about to unleash the demon. If I can click this, dude, man. Slow and steady. Well, we have a runner. Ooh, clean. <gasps> ah, bro. Bro, 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 bro. You can W flash on the Kha'Zix. W flash. Dur, no, I'm, so, I'm glad you like the games, man. I'm glad. Yeah, I don't like screaming. Dude, well, I was kind of clean though, if Jace wasn't there. I like DD after. Straight to DD. Kind of like Rek'Sai. You're going to be like in the fight a lot, so Death Stance will help you really survive. With the Hydra too, you have a lot of sustain. You can live off it. But you have to play smart when you play Cosmics. Here, we're going to kill that Orianna again. She might not push another wave. Um, she got it. And the blue brush thing, unless you control the map really well, go for picks. She might greed for this wave, we can kill her. Oh, they might go dragon. We should fight mid, because I'm close. Like that W. Wait, there's another one in there. Bro, that was kind of nasty. Do I set that up with that W slow? But I couldn't go in. I wanted to be a part of the family reunion in there. Well, that was dirty. It was a dirty setup. I mean, I, I started it all. Gave vision with my W. Set up a nice flank. Flanking Kha'Zix is just broken. I mean, you're a flank champion when you have a... W evolved too. Oh shit. Bro, what? Did you crit me three times? Man? Kha'Zix is okay. No, I don't think you need Grudge third. I think DD and then Grudge afterwards is good. I feel like the, the DD is like so good. Unless there's like triple AP or double AP. And then Sorel does like after. I wonder if Lord Doms is better than Sorrel does on Kha'Zix. I haven't tried it. Maybe it is actually, after the changes. If people are stacking HP, maybe. Oh, I have DD. Oh shit, they might do Baron. I can stop them though, I have no fight in River. I'm really strong now. Just to play around your ulti evolution. Or not your ulti evolution, I play around your ulti invisibility. Holy shit, that's that's a combo. They might go for the red here. I might kill whoever comes here. Like the MF. Or the spike. Oh man. 
Oh man, if I got that flash over the wall. I'm so sad, man, if I got the flash over the wall. <laughs> now, if I played more Kha'Zix, I would have pl outplayed that. I, I played too much Rek'Sai right now. I actually killed them. I didn't get the isolated Q, but it doesn't really matter. That was my bad. I could have played slow on Jace, yeah. I could have played slow on Jace. Oh god, Heimer, throw down your big boy turret. There it is. Oh no, Heimer. RIP. Yeah, I kind of like lower doms because of the HP stacking effect of it. People have more HP, you're going to do a bit more damage. We'll look for the Orianna pick here. Have ulti too. Oh man, I'm, just, I'm so sad. Much for a good game. I need claw to one shot people. I feel like the way I'm playing right now, if I have flawless claw, it just does wonders. Maybe the eclipse is unnecessary. Maybe the flawless claw is just more reliable. Having the gap close, being able to get on. That single target, I think I'm lacking that. I feel like with this build, I lack that bit of burst. So if I have Crawler's Claw instead of Eclipse, I think I would kill them. I think it would guarantee me a lot of these kills right now. Plus the extra gap close means I can save my jump instead of having to jump early. So I probably would go Eclipse. Or I'd probably go... I'm thinking, I think Eclipse might be overkill with Hydro. It's my bad though. I should... I'll do Claw next time I do this. Now, I feel like I'm just lacking that ability to, to get that bit of burst on them. Yeah, if I'm able to save my jump, I would make a big difference here. And your boy might go for a... No, I'll just wait for the team. I mean, it's important to just understand what... Like, this is like self analyzing yourself like i always try to analyze myself you have to analyze yourself too as you play if you have this mindset of like always thinking like what what difference is what did what could change like the effect of like what i'm doing these like small things will help you get better like self-analyzing if i have problems caught i feel like these situations would be a lot better what is my equipment really offering me not that much i'm not surviving long enough ain't no way Delicious. My goddamn turkey just came to me. Goddamn turkey miracle. Alright, let's end this game. Yeah, the claw could make a lot of this much easier. Next time we'll do a claw. GG though. No problem, Gus. I like Kha'Zix. I actually do play him a lot. When Rek'Sai's gone for AD jungle, I like Kha'Zix. But it's definitely a learning process. I need to practice him more and play him. I think with Claw, this build would be perfect. And we'd be shilling. I don't like Dust Blade. Don't like Dust Blade. I don't like Dark Dust Blade. I don't like Dark Harvest. I think first strike is just very important to have that money to get to like the full build. You're going to lose eco as the game goes on. If you're not snowballing, the first strike just gives you that money. And I think the gold is just super important. Hitting spikes. Hitting your spikes is really important.
bursting and hitting gold. Like that sh Kha'Zix will not be a good champion unless you snowball with your money. Heimer, you did great, I think. Or something like that. D2. I actually did the most damage in the game. Would you